great my naz. I rate it, you can do this at home, but if you bring this anywhere near my workplace, I will feed you to the cannons. The, the copiers, that is. They have an excellent booklet finisher. You see it go. Delitting a P oh, delitting a PS3. Yeah, I have one of the original PS3s, and I'm just I'm just really afraid to open it at this point. Because I don't know what state the thermal Oh, you no, oh, you delit I'm sorry, I Blanked on that. You took the actual cover off the the processor core. Wow. Well, why? I hope I hope you're I hope it was either broken or you're here to repair it. That's all I'll say. My PSU decided to say no today. Uh, glad to be wearing the brown pants. Yeah, you see that little square thing with a bunch of legs uh, to the left of the smaller circle. You see how it's kind of squished and melty and burned. Um, that is what's known in the industry as broken. You've released the magic smoke, and once you say hi to the blue smoke demon, uh, you, you do not get to computer anymore. <laughs> Took off my CPU cooler and spilled liquid metal all over the MOBO circuits. Oh, I, I hope you have some teeth brushes. Toothbrush, toothbrushies? Tooth, 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 toothbrushes. I can plural. Sure I can. Life pro tip, uh, don't put UPS batteries unsecured in the trunk of your car where the tire are. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah, those, those two terminals, uh, ever shall they meet, things shall get angry. In fact, uh, my dad had one of these on, a on our dining room table and I was like five and, and he had a wire going from one terminal and it was just hanging out with an alligator clip and the ground terminal was just sitting right there. And uh, here I was, five-year-old, thinking that, like, the wire had slipped off. So, like, I went to go reconnect it for him. He was not in the room. And, like, we, we you know, it, it wasn't a fancy dining room table, but it was, like, you know, a dining room table you didn't spill stuff on. And I connected it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get the alligator clips onto the, onto the tab. But there were a lot of sparks. And there were a lot more sparks than my five-year-old brain was ready to comprehend at the time. And I screamed and ran out of the room. <laughs> I was always very careful around lead acid batteries after that. Random access point that just showed up one day. It is not on our controller, but has been configured to use our SSID. I got one of these once. Completely different model. Everything, but it's just, it, it was computed to use our SSID. It wasn't hooked up to our network correctly. So like if you connected to it, things you just kind of broke. But yeah, some point, sometimes people just like think, oh, I can extend the range, range of the corporate Wi-Fi by configuring an access point. And they know just enough to be dangerous, but they don't know enough to like actually ask for permission. I don't know. Don't do this. Ticket. The switch is noisy and reboots all the time. Cannot diagnose. Uh, that would probably be because it's choking. Here, I will cover, I don't know, 50% of your airways and see if you reboot. Diagnose that. This MacBook Air I bought to repair and flip is a bit buggy. Oh no, oh no, is it full of, oh, it's not full of bugs. Preparing to install, your computer will restart automatically. Oh, okay, there's a Mac drive. It's about negative two that many hours and 25. Is it install? <laughs> Did you buy a computer capable of like manipulating time? Because cool, but also I don't think we should be doing that. Oh my God. Oh, there's a second image. Oh, it's for bugs. I felt so safe. This was the aftermath years ago when our school district was replacing all the IMAX in the high school. Oh, oh, oh that actually makes me sad. Oh, and now they're like collector's items. <sighs> Everyone in our team hates this darn room. That is, that is not that bad. That is really genuinely not that bad. And you have free ports? You have free switches just like ready to go? Wow, you're funded. Upon disassembly, I think I can see why this RX 5E doesn't work. Yeah, again, if the tiny squares are burned, um, usually that's bad. Customer came in, said his PC picked up smoking last night. Oh, sat, sat a power fire. Yeah. Oh, that'll happen. Uh, th there's, uh, two plugs on the back of hard drives and, uh, CD drives, stuff like that called SATA. And, uh, one of them is for data and one of them's for power. And the power one will catch fire if you, uh, if you jam something in there. <laughs> nice power delivery system for the security cameras I saw at a Chinese shop. Oh, 
Oh, God. No, 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 no. Please at least have one camera pointed to that so the insurance company doesn't have to pay out as much when they when they accuse you of negligence. My friend wanted to see the inside of his phone. Oh, is this the guy who like scrapes off the back of his phones? It's fingernails of steel, I swear. No need to set up clock again. All right, so this is, there's a tiny battery on the motherboard called a CMOS battery, and it's a little coin cell, and it goes bad after, I don't know, five, 10 years. I heard him. I heard something once that there were like rechargeables of them at some point, but I don't. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, what they've done is just uh, took two giant batteries. I'm guessing they're 3.7 volt something or others because they look weird. Uh, and and hooked that up to CMOS, which should last you years, like decades, like literal decades. How Amazon shipped my replacement hard drives for my NAS for work. I'm actually not going to blame Amazon quite as much here because I feel like it was the seller or manufacturer's responsibility to package the drives a little bit better. If you sell a hard drive and you send it to Amazon to be warehoused and then sent out via prime trucks and such, it should be handleable by, you know, warehouse workers and delivery people. These drives look like they're actually packaged in bulk packaging. Uh, so there's actually supposed to be like, I don't remember, tw like 20 of them in a big box with a bunch of dividers. Now, if Amazon bought these giant bulk boxes and took out all the drives, then it's their fault. But you also shouldn't be selling bulk drives singularly as retail. I was wondering why my internet was so slow. Now I'm wondering why it worked at all. All right, this is my vision interfering a bit. I'm not sure if the pins just aren't all the way out on the jack because they look shorter on the left hand side or, or if just the wiring's messing up. I'm not I'm not paid enough to, to analyze that right now. Gave my mom a smartwatch for Mother's Day. Plugs a micro USB O and of her phone charger into the USB A plug of the watch charger. I didn't know it fits. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I see now. Okay, all right. The the wording of that was confusing. Somehow you you can you can cram. I didn't know this. You could cram a micro B plug into a, a male USB A. So it won't do anything. You didn't actually break anything. It's fine. But. It died. Now we know. Don't do that. My motherboard stopped working. Might be all that smoking around your PC, buddy. Oh, gross. The only good thing about vaping is uh, is that uh, you don't have to deal with this anymore when you open PCs. Usually, except for this poor, poor person. I'm so sorry. Cheap solar powered portable charger. Took in a little too much sunlight. That's a whole lot of vitamin D <laughs> and lithium and electrolytes. CPU cooler sort of decided to melt. So only sort of <laughs> didn't get the full commitment. Still got uh, like 10 blades left. How is my new sticker? It's lovely. It's just in the worst possible place. Uh, this is the sticker that was affecting the imaging system before. I need the sticker that needs to be removed. <laughs> Literally says remove before installation and then has the measurements. Yeah, check the bottom of the cooler, folks. We installed a new switch, but now only Wi-Fi works. Oh no. Wait, 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 is this, wait, is that in the new switch? You didn't plug it in. Nothing's plugged in. What, what, what did you expect to happen? You have to plug it in and configure it and set it up. What, what, how do you think it's going to internet? As seen as a, at a table in a restaurant I regularly eat at. They have these outlets at most tables, uh, which are set up against a wall. This smartphone power supply is supposed to have a USB-C, micro B, lightning, and Apple 30 pin out. Guessing someone felt it was funny to yeet them off. I hate the public. <laughs> Like, why, why do people do this? Like, I will never understand. Like, it's not your property. You're not personally making any sort of positive difference in the world. You don't make any things any better or worse for the company. Uh, because most of the time they just don't replace it or they harass their like understaffed IT department to replace it. When the contractor is the one that found this like one off really hard to find part. It just makes everyone hate you. And I, I guess some people are like that. Yeah, look at look at Twitter. I was hoping replacing the coax with Ethernet would be easy. I was mistaken. That's a really hard thing to do. I'm not sure what they did here. I'm not sure if it's filled with plaster or it's actually like cemented in. What you can do, which is what I'm currently 
doing is uh, get something called a G.HN adapter, uh, which lets you put up to two gigabits uh, across coax. Uh, so you can put a co uh, you put one of these G.HNs on each side, and uh, you get uh, LAN right right through your coax. Yeah. Years of one rogue IT tech in a real estate office I had to go fix. <sighs> now now I'll, I'll weigh this a little bit because I think cable management is in very is very important. Uh, but sometimes offices won't give you the downtime for it. Or sometimes there's just too much to cover. And like there were areas in a college that I, I worked at. It was a second college I was managing. And that second college was a beige mess. And uh, there was just there was just too many closets and there would be too much downtime to just fix the cabling like it stuff had to get prioritized. So if this is a real estate office and this is like one of many IDFs or the guy was hourly and they didn't want him to do this, then then it wouldn't it wouldn't get done. Like uh, I, I for smaller clients, I work hourly. If they don't want their cables managed, I'm not going to spend three to four hours ripping everything out, labeling it and routing it and all that stuff unless I really like the client or I'm getting paid for it. But if there was a full time IT person and they couldn't chalk out like, I don't know, a Friday and be like, you know what, uh, this Friday, everybody go home early and I'm going to come in late and I'm going to clean up this closet and label everything so they know where everything is just in case there's a problem. Or take a Monday off and say, I'm coming in Saturday instead. You know, something like that. That's that's just, if you're not doing that kind of stuff, you're just lazy. Sawdust, an inch thick. Oh, I'm, I'm more impressed that the machine like survived this. I'm guessing you're opening it because it's dead. So maybe it didn't. So no, I see a light. I see a, I see a status light top middle. Is this thing still running? I'm impressed. Either way, I, at least you got you got power going to something. Found this on a bus today. Yeah, why, why do people destroy publicly available charge? And we're, we're trying to give you something to help you charge your stuff. Destroying it just makes you worse than people than talk in movie theaters. Found the problem. Anybody got a flamethrower? Uh, oh, oh no. Oh no, thank you. I'm terribly sorry, client. We had to build a new rig because the old one caught on fire. I, I, I just asked for a PSU upgrade. I'm sorry, it's just fire everywhere. Ticket, MacBook isn't charging. I need a new adapter. How did you rip out? <sighs> Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know how people accomplish the things they do. And, and, and that's usually said with Im, like impressed. Like I'm usually impressed by the things that people accomplish. Uh, I'm not impressed. I'm disappointed. Chromebook caught fire in a kid's backpack today. Yeah, I can't wait for the liability lawsuits to start rolling in with the, uh, the crappy batteries they put in these. Actually, this one's a Lenovo. The, the, those are usually a little bit better. Oh, it's not a battery. Oh, it was, yeah, no, it was just like a CPU or GPU core it's it's there wasn't an actual wow huh it must not have actually gone to sleep like the kid must have just shut it and it didn't go to sleep and kept running in, in their backpack and just overheated yikes was told to clean this up a little yep that's that that's about right i always look at these and like especially ones that use the color coding i use like i freak out a little like this isn't one of mine was it was it, it was it wasn't one of that second college that like was a mess but no it's not <laughs> You can tell it's not one of mine because uh, everything was labeled in all of my closets. Went to my aunt's house to fix her email. She didn't notice the trackpad literally coming out of the base of the laptop. Spice pillow alert! Spicy pillow alert! Got two Jesus tickets right there. They told me that the computer wasn't turning on. Oh no, it's turning on. You just couldn't see anything because you took a hammer to its optic nerve. Jesus Christ, CenturyLink. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I, I think I talked about this one before. Hey, it's it's just don't ever look inside boxes like this. They're just it's just it's just chaos and they'll never get downtime to fix it. Like you should always like when you're doing stuff like this, it always needs to be well done. And it just takes one person to do it wrong to just create a, a pile up that can never be undone. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> no, no, it won't. Although if you were an extremely bad IT professional, you could you could bring in eight wires and then do like a four wire split thing. Um, but but that makes you a terrible person and you'll go to hell for it. What the frack, AT&T? <laughs> OK, these are these are cold solder. I forget what they're even called junctions or something. Uh, you, you put two wires in them and you crack them and there's like a conductive gel in, be in between and they're designed for people that uh, that don't know how to solder or or they're doing an emergency repair and sometimes it's fine for like a fan or something like that if you're installing in your house or whatever. Uh, it's They're not rated for data and you shouldn't be using eight of them. You should just know how to do a cable. In fact, you shouldn't be doing a cable splice anyway. You should be terminating this, turn RJ45, 
jack and then uh, either using a patch cable between the two, just a really short patch cable to another RJ45 jack or even an RJ45 plug. Like I would allow that if it's all inside the box. You can splice if you if you know what you're doing, but most people don't. And this person clearly didn't. 